How bad is this then for Siemens? <laughs> well, it's super bad. I mean, we know that the unit had issues for uh, the last couple of years um, with uh, with profitability. Uh, now we have this added uh, problem of quality control at, at the unit. And what's more is that the company is not really giving us any details on how they're going to fix this. They said it will be more costly, it will take more time. And we all know if you give investors uncertainty, especially around in, uh, surrounding your profits, then they crater your stock. And well, that's what's happening right now. So what does it mean going forward, JP? Are they expecting things to be even worse if they just withdrew their outlook or does it mean they need a couple of days to work it through? Well, I, the, the feeling for me is from the press release that we got and from the comments from the management this uh, this morning is that they don't know themselves what they're actually going to do and, and how long it will take and how much it will cost them. Because if they would know, they would give us at least some numbers and some guideline uh, about the timing. And that, that they haven't tells me they don't know. And that's that's a big issue. Uh, it means they will look into this like probably for weeks and months before they can give us a, a clear uh, idea of how they're going to fix this. And that's something that investors really don't really don't like. And I really don't understand from a management perspective either that as a company you can't really tell the people like okay we have to do a b c uh, and this is going going to cost us x and then we fix it right um, that's the normal way of how you how you deal with those quality issues uh, but given that the company has not done that um, it, it's it's really bad and and I'm sure investors will will have to to deal with this for for a couple of weeks or months now yeah that pressure is going to build as you say isn't it for a plan at least to be outlined by by Siemens Energy on how to on how to deal with these challenges. JP, what is it? What else is standing out to you? I mean, is is, is Siemens Energy is a bit is this an idiosyncratic story? It sounds like it is a bit. I mean, what what else is standing to, is standing out to you in in another week of uh, pretty pretty significant downside for these equity markets? Uh, well, absolutely. I mean, like the, the the main story for me in in general equity markets and Siemens Energy here is a, is a good example is that investors have pushed aside like all the risks over the last couple of of days and, and weeks. A recession is basically only on the horizon and a, a very mild one, a very minor issue, and uh, everything is good. Every everyone has piled into um, in, into stocks again. Everybody is like rather bullish for for overall sentiment. Believes that the uh, company profits will hold up well. We have all the AI and technology stuff that is overlaying that uh, that bullishness and and adding to the positive sentiment and when you have a market environment like that and now moving into the summer where volume is uh, notoriously low um, then that, that's never a good combination when you have like bad surprises